Okay, the title might be a little sus, but let me explain. This is how to properly nut to all of your characters in Octopath Traveler 2. Before we start nutting, let's go over how you can farm nuts real fast. There are 10 different nut types in-game. There are also 10 different Octopuff Travelers in-game. Each version of the Octopuff Traveler will drop a different nut. I will show them on screen and the areas in which they drop. They have an extremely low drop rate of about 5% and what makes it worse is how hard they are to find. You can increase your chances of finding Octopuff Travelers by equipping all of the following. The support skill called More Rare Monsters. 3 Octopuff Pots which are accessories and the Forbidden Shield and Alluring Ribbon which helps you find encounters faster. Additionally, Octopuffs have a slightly higher spawn rate when you are in the water. So jump on your boat and find a body of water to farm the proper nuts. Now that farming nuts is out of the way, let's go over how to properly spread your nut between all of your characters. You kinda have two different options that you can choose from. The first being giving all of your nuts to your favorite character. In a separate save file, I gave all of my nuts to Chet because she's simply my favorite character. Nuts aren't really that important in the grand scheme of things. Sure, it'll boost up your stats to help out with certain bosses and such, but I completed everything before I used a single nut. The next option is to spread them out evenly to characters that will benefit most from the nut. Nourishing nuts are used to increase HP. These nuts can be distributed to any character and they will be put to good use. If you can't decide who to give them to, give them to a squishier character or give them to your main damage dealer like Hikari or Ochet. Next we have the Invigorating Nut which increases SP. SP can be good on any character but Temenos, Oswald, Hikari, and Particio will benefit the most. If you are running a Mythical Boar Hikari build, you will only need 200 to 300 to deal max damage with Mythical Boar. Fortifying Nuts are used to increase your physical attack. You mainly want to give these to Hikari or Wachet or anyone who has a strong physical skill like Casty and her drastic measures. Agnia can also benefit from Fortifying Nuts as she can bring out the full potential of any class. Tough Nuts are used for physical defense. You mainly want to give these to characters who have a naturally low defense. Tough Nuts are also good to use on Hikari. That way he can benefit from taking less damage while drawing all single target attacks to himself with a skill called Insight. You can spread your Tough Nuts out any way you would like. Next we have Magic Nuts which increases your elemental attack. You want to give these to either Temenos or Oswald as they are elemental based characters. You could also give Magic Nuts to Hikari as he does learn several extremely good elemental skills through his learned skills talent. Casty's elemental concoction also benefits from magic nuts. Resistant nuts grants us extra elemental defense. The character who will benefit from this the most is Temenos and Casty. Healing is based on your elemental defense so the higher it is the more you will heal. Feel free to spread out these nuts in any way you like. Sharp nuts are used to increase accuracy. All characters can benefit from this, mainly your physical attackers. These nuts will increase your hit rates against rare monsters such as Kates and Octopuffs. Ochet has a naturally high accuracy stats and she also has an incredible skill called Take Aim. This increases the entire party's critical rate and accuracy for a set amount of turns. Distribute these nuts in any way you see fits amongst your physical attackers. After that we have the Slippery Nut. These go well on any fast and evasive character such as Throne or Agnia. Hikari can also benefit from Slippery Nuts. He can use his skill Insight in drawing all single target attacks to himself while dodging most of them. Combine this with the support skill called Ever Evasive and he will be extremely hard to hit. Critical Nuts are used to increase the critical hit rate of a character. All of the characters can benefit from the Critical Nut. I would recommend you give these out to your main damage dealer. As with Accuracy, the Hunter has a skill called Take Aim in which increases the accuracy and critical hits rate of all characters for a set amount of turns. The Inventor class also has a skill called Critical Scope. This allows you to target a character and all hits on that character will be a critical hit. Last but not least, we have the Light Nut. This increases speed and I know a lot of people will put this on a character such as Throne. 
This is to maximize the damage done from Aber's Reckoning. I don't think it's a good idea to give all of your Light Nuts to Throne. You don't really need that much speed to hit max damage if you have the right setup. A better option is to give all your Light Nuts to a support character that can give everyone BP at the start of battle. I think Light Nuts work best on Inventor Agnia, Casty, or Hikari as they have a good way to give your team resources super fast at the start of battle. Those were all of the stat boosting nuts in game. Like I previously stated, nuts aren't needed to get through the game, but they will help out. Honestly, I think the better option is to choose your favorite character and then juice them up as much as possible. Another good option is to choose your four favorite travelers and then spread all your nuts amongst them. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Octopath Traveler content. Thanks for watching and enjoy.